Hi, and welcome to 30 Demos in 60 Minutes. In this video, what we're going to do is troubleshoot your straw trombones. So most people can get their straw trombone working, probably three quarters of my class can get it working just from the instructions when I'm standing at the front of the class, but there's always a good fraction of the students where I have to go around and help them. So we're going to look at some of the things that I see and how you can help them uh, make their straw trombone work better. So first of all, and so if you want to move in closer there. First of all, we'll talk about how to cut the tips. And I'd mentioned in the previous video, if I'm doing this in a in kind of a lecture setting, I pre-cut all the straws because um, otherwise I have to have enough scissors for everybody. So you can see what I want is this V shape. And you can see from the side that there's it's basically a reed. And what you're having the students do when they chew on it is you're having them get those two pieces close together so that when you blow air through there, those two pieces can vibrate together. And so that's how it works. And so that's why you chew with your molars back here because you're squishing the straw, but you're also getting it warm, which makes it more flexible. So let me um, also show you a couple examples before I chew on it of different ways it can be cut. Sometimes I cut them uh, sharper, longer points, that seems to work fine. Um, I've also seen people who will cut them with a very small point and I, I see more trouble with these. Uh, there's, and you can see why there's a lot less material to vibrate together. It will work, you can make it work, but it'll be more challenging. So when you cut them, if you cut them with a nice long V, um, I think it's less challenging for students to get it working. So let's take a couple of these and I'm gonna have Katie, my camera operator, <laughs> prepare one of these and I will do one. So, Katie did a nice job this time. Now, look at the difference between our two straws. She has much stronger teeth than I do. Now, this time, it worked. It looks great. You can see that you can see down the tube. It's open. But if she had chewed harder and chewed more, why don't you go ahead and do it as an example? Oh, jeez. So, this is, this is what it looked like the first time. And I see quite a few students do this. And so notice the problem is the air can't get down. So they'll blow on it and it just doesn't work. Sometimes you can pop it open for them. Actually, it's better to have them pop it open so that um, you're not touching where they're going to chew. And that sometimes fixes it. If that doesn't fix it, all you have to do is retrim and then try again. So those are the main things you're looking for. Sometimes students um, don't chew this way and you'll see their straw and you'll have some kind of angled, kind of mangled mess, something like, you know, like that. That doesn't work because the tips can't vibrate together. So then you just ask them to chew on it the right direction and they can get it so that they go together like that. Um, and then another quick pointer is where to get these straws. These are Dixie straws. I spent a lot of time trying different pairs and combinations of straws and I chose these because they, finding two sets of straws that would slide inside of each other and see how nicely these slide together. They're just perfect. Um, it took a lot of work to find this pair. And so this was a Subway straw. Um, our university Subway will sell me a box of these for $9. Um, I have had some of the local Subways who are willing to sell me a box of straws and many who just don't know how to make that happen. So the university was great though. No hesitation and it's worked for several years. The Dixie straws, I just buy them on Amazon, but I originally found these at a gas station. Very common straw at a gas station. This is a 12 inch example. So here's the box, uh, 12 inch jumbo Dixie straw. So even though it's skinny and skinnier than the subway straw, it's considered a jumbo straw. Um, and you can get them in 10 and a quarter or uh, 12 inch length. Either one's fine because um, the subway, you know, the subway straw slides over it. What matters is how they slide together, not the length. So that's it. Have fun. Enjoy.